Hello, uh, my name is Syed Nakvi. I'm a cardiology fellow at the University of Rochester. I'm joined here today by uh, Dr. Mohamed Raza, who is uh, the director of the cardiac cath lab at Crozier Chester Medical Center and also a cardiologist part of Consultants of Philadelphia, Cardiology Consultants of Philadelphia. So thank you for having, having me. Uh, thank you, Syed. Um, it's a pleasure. It's uh, great to see you and you're doing well. Um, and uh, I hope you're enjoying the meeting. Yep. Uh, thank you for yeah. Thank you for um, agreeing to uh, participate. Dr. Raza is actually one of my mentors from Philadelphia, who I haven't met in, in in a couple of months now since I've moved to Rochester, and I'm glad to have bumped into him at at the conference here. So for uh, Dr. Raza, I have a question as a first year general cardiology fellow. Um, you know, I'm six months into my training and. It's, it's time to, you know, decide on whether I want to go down an interventional career, an electrophysiology career. What advice would you have for the general fellows out there that are in that decision-making process uh, of how to go about it? Yeah, so go with your gut feeling, what you really like to do. It's very important to do what you really enjoy doing. So uh, as a fellow, you get a lot of opportunities to rotate uh, on... Um, electrophysiology floors and uh, intervention uh, floors, cath lab, uh, nuclear lab. So you kind of uh, f kind of have enough opportunity to know what you really like, uh, and then it's a balance between what you like and then what your lifestyle demands from you. So mm -hmm. uh, it's a complex decision making, but I would say that uh, do what you enjoy doing and what you like doing. Okay. And say, for example, you know, I've decided that I want to do an interventional fellowship. What advice do you have for me uh, or fellows out there that have decided that on the best advice to get there and how to make it happen? Yeah, yeah so first of all, um, once you have decided you want to be an interventional cardiologist, you, a couple of steps you need to take is, number one, you're going to find a mentor who can help you and guide you and and give you advice at time to time uh, how to achieve your goal. Uh, secondly, uh, it's a lot of commitment, so you're going to have to make sure that you uh, discuss with your family, you, mm -hmm. they're all on, on, on board that uh, uh, interventional cardiology, although it's very exciting, but there are some uh, demands from the field, uh, including uh, uh, STEMI calls and, uh, mm -hmm. you know, long days in the cath lab, and as far as uh, you, you are on board and your family is on board and you have a mentor, so really that's all you need. Okay. So what Dr. Raza was getting at is that you got to get your wife's permission before you uh, pursue a, a career in interventional cardiology. But it is certainly an exciting time. Uh, you know, there's uh, advances in structural, advances with, you know, watchmans and uh, tavers and mitra clips and... Uh, uh, so it is an exciting time to be an interventional cardiologist. Uh, that is absolutely true. I, I think this is the best time to be an interventional cardiologist uh, mm -hmm. if that's what you want to do. Mm -hmm. um, you know, as you just mentioned, there's so much going on, innovations coming in. Uh, and I think as far as you are committed and you like it, you will have a great career.